Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, we're gonna do another episode of the. Maybe it'll be called the Breaking of Isaac. I'm not sure. Um, so this one, this seed we got the seller. We had to reroll and we got the wafer. Now, why would I take the wafer rather than wait for something cool like I don't know a fucking Ipecac, Doctor Fetus, Epic Fetus, something neat, right? Well, the wafer allows us to use Sharp Plug a ridiculous number of times if wanted, um, without, of course, taking much damage at all. Sharp Plug gives you, if you have zero charge on your spacebar item, it gives you a full charge at the cost of two hearts. Now, it does this in damage, it's, it doesn't just like deduct two hearts like I deal with the devil does. So, what this means is the wafer turns every use of the Sharp Plug into one heart. Now, if you have something like, say, Old Bandage, or um, Piggy Bank slash Swallowed Penny, well, I guess, unless you have Swallowed Penny and Bloody Petty in the same room, it doesn't really count with that, but like, you get what I'm saying, right? Like, if you have ways to restore hearts by taking damage with Sharp Plug with the D6, you get infinite rerolls, which is pretty neat. Unfortunately, we're fighting the Haunt, which I'm probably gonna, like, take a million damage to and feel awful and fucking die or something. And feel like a sack of shit, because I hate the Haunt. And I've already taken two hits to fucking baby ghosts and some bitch babies and stupid pieces of fuck. I'm sorry. They didn't deserve that. They're just doing their job. I fucking, seriously, like, the Haunt is by far my least favorite boss ever because there's no tell right the brimstone shot has a tell but the other shot doesn't the charge has no tell no delay it just happens when he feels like it and oh stand at the bottom of the screen sure like i could do that but then it'll take fucking 18 million years i just i don't know this boss is fucking stupid all right uh that's actually fine Normally, I probably would reroll it, but it gives us a black heart, and we're going down to the second floor, which can be obviously very important to have a black heart for the second floor or a soul heart uh, for the second floor to try to ensure a deal with the devil. Uh, we got the cellar again, which, you know, is bizarrely a good thing uh, as opposed to cellar on the first floor, which is basically a bad thing. The reason being, we've already fought the haunt. So what do we got? Pin? Widow? Well, they're not really even bosses. That's my main gripe with the seller, is the fact that there's just such a weird... Um, yeah, that's good. There's such a weird, nice, like, swing, or a uh, swing, like, spectrum of difficulty for the bosses, right? Like, you have Widow and Pin, who are easily the least difficult bosses on the first floor, right? Like, Monstro is probably harder than either of them. Widow can get tough if it's uh, a specific type of Widow. Um, but generally, Widow is not too bad at all. Widow is... yeah. I mean, the thing is, Widow has, like, no hit points at all. The boss is, you know... It's like Pin, except it doesn't have invincibility stages. Also, fuck spiders. This is my biggest. This is my biggest issue with the seller is the spiders. Uh, I'm gonna reroll it. Okay, juicy sack is actually pretty good. That's worthwhile, I think. Oh, I wish I had a bomb. Yeah, I a boom. Oh god, yeah, this is just kill me, please. Yeah, seller. I don't know, man. Cellar is so bizarre. Some rooms, some bosses are just easy as shit. Uh, yeah, look, we got pinned. This isn't even a boss. Like, oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. He's gonna poke his head up. I shoot him in the head. And he's gonna jump at me. He's gonna get caught on the sticky goop, and then I'm gonna shoot him more. He's gonna jump and get caught on the sticky goop, and I shoot him some more. He pokes his stupid head up. Shoot his stupid head. He jumps at me. He gets stuck on the sticky goop. Then you just repeat ad nauseum until the boss dies. It's, like, very easy. I got hit against Pin. Red heart damage. All right, I'm I, I'm a worthless sack of shit. That's pretty much what it is. 
Wow. All right. I should never, ever actually play Isaac ever again after that one. I apologize. Uh, but that's fine. I was just getting cocky. That's all it really was. Uh, let's see what's in here. I don't know what to do. Three rolls dropped items. It's like a D20 effect, I think. I like flatworm, though. I'm going to take that shit. Okay. Turned it into a nickel. More bombs. More money. Interesting. Okay. So we're going to blow up this tinted rock. If we get a, I don't know, like a key out of it. I don't know what we could get out of this to make it really worthwhile. Got a bomb and a spirit heart. I'm going to blow up some pots. I think if I blow up this one, I'll get five. And I do. Okay. Got one bomb left. We got 13 cents. We don't have a key. I really want to get to the shop, though. Let's continue exploring. If I can get to 15 cents and the shop has, I don't know, sharp plug, then everything will be worthwhile. Well, I don't know why I'm, like, the worst forever. We're going to use the chariot, even though, like, envy isn't hard, just because envy takes, you know, 17 millennia to get the feet. And it gives you a troll bomb because he's the greatest. So, spots for... Uh, okay. Let's look at this. So it has to have nothing touching it. So it actually can't be either of these two spots. That means it can only be one spot, right? Except that has pots touching it. So it can't be there either. And this had pots touching it, so it can't be here. It's fucking impossible to find. It doesn't exist. Okay, we're gonna try something. It also can't border the boss room. Alright, we're trying here. This is stupid. Yeah. I was blowing up the pot as well. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna save my bomb. I'm gonna cry myself to sleep because I didn't get to visit the shop. Who knows? Maybe it had sharp plug. We already have the wafer. We're almost there. We're almost all ready to the, the infinite rerolls. And by infinite, I mean limited by our hit points. So not infinite at all. But you know what I'm saying. It is one step closer to infinite. Although win isn't it one step closer to infinite whenever you pick up a single item that assists you in approaching infinite. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just kind of spouting nonsense at this point. Champion's belt is not interesting enough. It's a good item. But we do have two 15 cent, like, actual items in the shop. So this is... This is tickling my fancy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna continually reroll this every time it's up and hope for a sharp plug. And at which point we can blow up our donation machine. Uh, PhD is also pretty good. All right, we're not gonna do it though. So I'm gonna save this bomb and I'm just gonna continually reroll the shop. Although this guy should drop a bomb since we are normal. Nice, we found our second secret room, our super secret room. Got a scent anyway. We got pills. Okay, lockup's good. Puberty, okay. Paralysis. I mean, nothing's bad so far. Alright, that was bad. Good job, me. Dirty Junior. Well, you know. We got, we got Juicy Sack, right? So I think Gertie Jr. is like kind of a pushover now. Because we don't really have to worry about Gertie Jr. like, you know, ping-ponging all the way across the whole map repeatedly. And by map, I mean room, because there's no way that... Well, I don't know. Maybe Gertie Jr. could break free. If she wants to break free. Not touching that. Okay, growth hormones is a good one. Neither of those is good at all some flies for our troubles. So we're gonna wait until we go back to leave the floor, of course. So now we have two bombs, which means we can use one for a tinder rock. We might not even have to, though. We might just naturally get one more scent. We'll see. That was super risky. I'm not sure why I did that. Pheromones? We're gonna use it on this room. Okay, that worked out already. Not bad. 
God, having spiders and flies is a godsend for this room. Because this room is just awful. There's the scent on the gnat. Troll. Alright. Wow. This is... Really? That is a small floor. Did I just throw a heart away for a... I'm gonna do it. It's stupid. Alright, we have the wafer. That's only half a heart. We could do that again for a bomb if we need it. I just want to see what's in our uh, item room. Oh my god, alright. Fuck me, right? So our secret room should... Yeah, this room should be symmetrical, so it should be here for sure. It is not, and I am sad. We do have 15 cents, so we don't actually have to save our bombs. Open for keys, not keys. Mo money though. Does that mean mo problems? Could do. <sighs> Alright, this is tough. Do I buy a key? Do I buy PhD? I think I buy the key. I'm gonna keep our sharp plug hopes alive. Um We're not we're not giving up yet. We are only on caves one. There's not enough mushrooms in any of those rooms that are worth bombing. I'll get one mushroom at best, so I think. Could be wrong. It sounds about right, though. Let's check here. Sometimes ooh, we could play that. Mm. Really wish I had more bombs. This is actually like a fairly consumable light run, which is not working out in our favor. Alright, well, if you told me on the last floor that the first drop I'd get was a... I thought it was dead. Was a key? I probably would not have purchased a key on the previous floor. Probably. I might have. It's not that it's awful. It's just that I wish I saved the money. I mean, I need keys, right? Like, there's never a point in the run where you don't need keys anymore. found a item room. Prayer card. I mean, I'll use it once to be basically a shitty soul heart. And then we're gonna re-roll it into the miter. Okay, miter is actually very good. This is probably one of the better items that you can get just randomly. Uh, ooh. Thank god I had spiders. Um, the miter just means that you begin rolling in soul hearts uh, for the whole run after acquiring it. So, that's actually very good, especially because uh, we don't have to worry about if we do, you know, I still have the sharp plug dreams, you know, it's still alive, it's still there. Um, compass and piggy bank. So I could get the piggy bank, which should fairly easily get us to the 15 cent mark on future floors because we're idiots and can't stop getting hit by stupid shit. So, what do we got? Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Ooh. Alright, we are rich? Um, also, if we pick a bloody penny, then this should theoretically make us be able to infinitely sharp plug. I know I'm throwing a lot of my hope into the sharp plug basket. But I see sharp plug very frequently. That is not a rare item. So I think we're gonna continually reroll the shot. It doesn't well, okay, let's fight our boss first, because it's not like we're getting an extra reroll. We're only losing a little bit of that, and it's not too big of a deal. So Dark One's not exactly a difficult boss, but he can sneak up on you and get free damage. In. Which he's already almost done twice to me. 
Um, and by free damage and sneak, I mean you walk into him while he's charging because you're a stupid. Not much else. That's pretty much that entire line of thought. Okay, we got the screw. This is slightly worse than Torn Photo and um, Toothpicks, which are identical items, by the way, in case you were wondering. The Bible. That's beyond worthless. So let's just get a key. I didn't get hit on this entire floor. I don't think I'm going to go back and mess with the blood bank. Um, that sounds like a problem because I want to keep this eternal heart alive and well from the prayer card that we re-rolled, mind you. This is a nice room. Get some free bams. There's a tin rock there that I wasn't paying attention to at all. So we use two bombs to get three bombs and a spirit heart and a secret room, which is greed, which means greed can't be in our shop, which is a good thing. We're just dropping thousands of dollars. I think we're profiting every time Greed hits us. Obviously because of Piggy Bank. But the way it's supposed to work is that... God damn it. Um, the way that it's supposed to work is that it... It basically drops, you know, X coins on the ground. And, uh... Takes away X plus one coins from you, basically. It's not exactly how it works, but that's kind of the gist, so... You're basically the donation machine. Uh, being blown up. Okay, well we found our item room immediately. We're gonna always trade one bomb for a bomb because there's a chance for a black market. Because Sin, you're also useless. I hate you. Got a black heart out of it. Uh, we can't, we can get three skulls, not four without Mr. Mega. Okay, this could be good. The chariot, it's, I mean, it's better. Potentially. I guess, theoretically, this room is just not great for our current build. Um, Wheel of Fortune could eventually turn into an item. So if I do find it necessary to use this... What the hell is this for? Oh no, alright, we're... It doesn't even do it in one bump. Alright, we're fucking doomed. Oh, it's because, okay. So, Unicorn Horn does the same damage value as Black Hearts, which is less than the Necronomicon. It's the Necronomicon effect, but it's not as much damage. Which means that these guys definitely do survive uh, a Black Heart being expended, and I believe Unicorn Horn does deal the same damage, as I said. It might deal slightly different, but it's close enough. Spirit Heart, not bad, not bad. Oh no, 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 no. I can't dodge these guys in a straight line or in any line at all. Alright, I give up. These guys are just gods. As you can see, it didn't fully die. Uh, okay. I hate the masks. The masks are like the most obnoxious enemy in the game. Maybe not quite the most. I think they're pretty close with the spiders, actually. Now that I think about it. Okay, this is a much better big room. I can deal with this room. I shouldn't get hit here. Says the man who might get hit. Uh, put that knife away. What are you gonna do with it? Stab me? A stab pick. Uh, okay. Bats are not too big of a dish. Too big of an issue, I should have said. What do we got? We got the sharp plug. All right, this is what we're talking about. This is this is where we're going. So now I get infinite rerolls, so I can go back to our item room and by again by infinite I mean not quite infinite, but close-ish. Um, I could actually reroll shop item. What would I get out of the shop? Nothing really, right? Like we already got sharp plug. So let's reroll this. I mean. Let's use the spiders. Let's get some spiders for free. So it takes half a heart to reroll. So we're gonna continue this trend for a bit. 
until we get something that we deem worthy. Spider Baby and Firemind are not that, so... Gish is also not that. Unfortunately, I don't have any red hearts laying around, so this is a bit risky. Um, probably only gonna go down to two hearts. It gets too ridiculous. Hey. Not a fan of any of this, honestly. Okay, that's something we can be a fan of. Capricorn. Capricorn is a good all stats up. One of the better ones. Um, I could trade a half heart now to get the charge, because I don't think there's six rooms of battle left on the floor. Let's see, so one the one to our right is probably a mini boss. The one down here probably doesn't lead to anything. Well it might have one additional room, so there's one, two, three, four potential boss. Maybe Krampus. We're on Necropolis one. Hey. Eh, let's use Sharp Plug. Like, what's the worst thing that can happen? If if we die, yeah. So if we die by one hit, like, whatever. That was a bad bomb. I could have easily gotten to one of these things. But that's okay. I could have gotten to... Okay, I did it. I'm the greatest. <laughs> um, and we can go back to our shop. I'm not sure why I came into this room, to be honest with you. Just kind of on autopilot. I'm like, we need rooms to reroll. After already doing the thing that I had debated doing. That's okay. We are rolling in the moolah. So let's go down here. Back to our shop. What do we buy from our shop? Let's buy the red heart, just to feel safe. Buy the spirit heart. Buy the purse, because it's you know, easy. Let's buy this. Let's lock up, sure. I knew that. It was planned. And we're still at enough money to buy a 15 cent item on the next floor. Shoutouts to Piggy Dick. So we're we're getting there. This is this is coming along nicely. All we need now is a way to restore our hearts, and then we actually have infinite rerolls. Um just fighter boss. The Fallen. Alright, Fallen's a good one. We can get Devil Deal items from this. Unfortunately, we can't reroll into Devil Deal items. Uh, and we definitely have taken floor damage. No doubt about that. Mark. I'm not gonna turn down the Mark. Like, this is a good item. Uh, we can go to our last room. I mean, yeah, sure. Might as well be a bit completionist now that our uh, chance to do boss rush is out of there. Got a key out of it. it. Took three seconds and got a key. You know what? I can't even complain. Alright, what do we got here? Uh, we could go to our curse room. We'll fight Wrath first, which is good. I like having extra bombs. I hope he doesn't drop Bobby Bomb. What's he doing? bunch of bombs. If he did drop Bobby Bomb, I probably would just re-roll it. Uh, I don't actually remember what pool the mini boss rooms take from. I want to say item room, though. It's just a single... No, it's just an empty room. I thought it was a single haunt. So I'm going to try and always stay at um, full charge or zero charge. We're going to re-roll a bunch. I'm going to actually leave the cash on the ground. Might as well use it. Magician. That's a good joke. See, technology is not great. Not really what I'm looking for on a breaking run, I'll be honest with you. I'm looking for like Ipecac or Pyromaniac is what I'm is what I really want. Leo isn't bad. Lemon mishap is. We're gonna hold on to our wheel of fortune. Cursed eye is bad. Yeah, we're not taking that either. We're getting through all the shitty items, I guess. There we go. I knew it. I, I mean, you know. You just gotta... Look at that fire rate with Polyphemus. All you gotta do is wade through all the bullshit, and then you'll get to something great. That's how life works. So it Makes sense that's how Isaac works. Little upset I'm not one shot. this guy's stuff. I'll be honest with you. It's definitely not going great. 
Okay, so this is where shit gets, this is where shit hits the fan. This is what I'm talking about. So we're gonna buy this, we're gonna buy this. We're obviously gonna buy this. Now, okay. So I'm looking for Jerarune, obviously. Uh, I'm a little upset because I can't actually do what I want to do here. I want to reroll the jar, but not the blank card. And we can't do that. So we're just going to buy the key, and we're going to ignore that that shop even exists anymore. Goodbye, D6. You served me well. That was great. I could give you some cash. I'll think about it. I'll consider it. Our damage is definitely on the low end of Polyphemus, uh, so we're gonna want to remedy that at some point. A little upset I'm not getting any trinkets besides the flatworm. You know what? Let's. Uh, it's probably a bit too low. Nope. Cool. Nice. I mean, I just wanted something out of it, and we got something. So, yeah, let's blow this up. Maybe it's something cool. Infamy. It's not bad. I'd rather get in for me now than on the chest, I guess. So, here's the cool thing. Because we're saving Wheel of Fortune, we should be able to, every four rooms on the chest, uh, get one more free item. And we have a reasonable amount of luck, too, which means that we might... Yeah, that's just really bad. We might just get extra items, you know, innately, uh, by them dropping from... I don't need golden poop at all, so we're not going to waste a key and a bomb to get to that. Ooh, you drive a hard bargain. I don't actually know what either of these is. I probably do, but I'm a stupid dumb, as I've gone over many a time. Yeah, it was not worth it at all. So we're just going to fight. Red Mom is not bad. In fact, Red Mom is almost ideal. Because it's not hard. It's a predictable pattern. So, I can't really, like, explain the shit that I do when I fight Mom. But it seems to work. So I'm not gonna, like, I'm not gonna mess with it. That was great. He says as he gets stabbed. So we don't have deal with the devil. We obviously don't have boss rush, so we're just taking the Polaroid and we're going. But now my goal is just to survive to the chest and see what silly shit we can do down there. If I get a better card, I'll obviously swap out. I'm not gonna feel obligated to keep Wheel of Fortune. I mean, I should be just dropping it a... Okay, that's actually good. We can get a bloody penny. Safety cap ain't bad. Spirit hearts are obviously good. I mean, we have the wafer, so like... With any... So, I've had this bug before. I don't know what the fuck causes that. Alright, rosary bead. Should I... Okay. Well, I was gonna say, should I pick that up while I'm playing the Wheel of Fortune? Or the, the fortune teller thing? Like, is that how that works? I don't quite understand most of the faith up things. The evil up ones make sense. They just, like... Stop all red hearts from dropping and give you a heightened chance of getting black hearts. Faith up doesn't seem to stop red hearts from dropping. And occasionally seem to increase your chance of soul hearts. And I say occasionally because sometimes I've had it where it just nice. Where it just doesn't seem to do shit at all. Is that lucky rock? Okay. The tick. We don't want to touch that shit. I just almost touched the tick. Nice. So we're capped. Well, we've already seen the tick. Nice. We got an extra spear heart just in case. Okay, we're gonna blow this bad boy up. Because we're out of cashish. Tick. You better not fucking block my door. So we have the purse. Actually, I can pick up the tick, because we have the purse. I forgot about that. Uh, yeah, let's roll tick plus flatworm, actually. That sounds pretty good. 
I forgot we bought that. But it all makes sense now. Shouldn't have been standing there. It's fine though. We don't want to play that. I could blow it up for red hearts though, actually. Does this hit it? How do you fucking do this? Uh, too confusing for my stupid head. I am really digging our fire rate though. It feels really great. That's a dinner rock. Um, especially with Polyphemus. Like, oh my god, yes. All right, we're doing it. Still not one shot. I don't know. How do I kill you? Do I just oh yeah, because we have the platform. That worked. Close. I don't think we took red heart damage on the floor. So we should be at a reasonable chance of getting a deal with the devil. I mean, we could get a deal with the angel, right? I don't think I took a deal with the devil at all. Yeah, there we go. Which I think if I use Wheel of Fortune here... I don't even want this, to be honest with you. If I use this, this can create an item pedestal. Credit card. Man, it's too late for the credit card blank card interaction. Bleh. All right. So if I blow these up with bombs, I think they create item pedestals. I'm not 100% on that, though. We're going to go down to, I think, one spirit heart, because we have at least one other spirit heart back there. They do not create item pedestals. However, I mean, they gave us a whole bunch of shit. Can we just keep doing this for like forever? Maybe. Let's try it. I mean, like, okay, I think I'm gonna play the fortune tellers to try to get Bloody Penny, but I'm gonna blow up the just regular slot machines. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this, place a bomb. Hopefully, I, yeah, there we go. Just make some room for me. Um, puberty. That's not worth anything. I guess I'll pick this up. Whatever. I don't like it. But... So at the very least, this is giving us a bunch of consumables. Basically for free. Uh, don't actually want to be in that corner at all. Get me out of there. What? The blue open one play? That seems ridiculous. Where are the fortune tellers at? There you go. All right, let's play you. Ooh, per throw. Okay. Let's do, all right. I'm liking where this is going. So now we just have a fucking better D6, right? And we still have sharp plug. Answer trinket. That's better than flower. Fire rate still seems like actually the same, which is bizarre. Pick it up. Here a font. Okay. All right. I like where this is going. By the way, like this is this is pretty much. If you do ask me, like, what do I want to do today? This would be the thing that I would tell you. So we're just going to print some hit points. I don't want to print too many. <laughs> it can get a bit uh, unmanageable if we go too ham. Just going to get a little bit of excess. Alright, that should be good for now. Let's pick up our Wheel of Fortune card. Let's get some more Wheel of Fortunes. So I, I swear to god, these things sh should be able to... I mean, I know Temperance definitely can make, uh, you know, item pedestals. I don't know. Never actually thought about it. Obviously the, you know, 
I can actually play these, right? I have placenta too, man. So I can play these fortune tellers to try to get a temperance. What are you? You're the hermit. Get out of my life. Uh, okay. So I'm gonna play this to a temperance card, I think. Cause we're, we, I mean, we're just like a factory right now. Everything that's coming out of us is pure profit. What do we got? Two spades, sure. Why didn't you double it with your free doubles? Because I'm a lazy piece of shit and 26 keys should be plenty. That's a lie. I really should be saving it. Sure, let's pop the sun card. That's another way to get infinite, you know, things. The infinite sun card is, like, pretty ridiculous as well. Okay, so there we have an item pedestal. This is cool. This is good. So that's one. Okay. Oh, I don't want to fight the angel. Shit. Actually, I do. I'm a liar. You know what? I don't even care. Fucking battle me, bitch. Beat the fuck out of me. As long as at the end I don't pick up the key. Stupid. Alright. Um, we currently have Hierophant. <gasps> I made a terrible mistake. Okay. Uh, I can get a battery out of these, right? Alright, here is he. A dollar. I can reroll all this shit, I guess. Damn it, I'm a retard. <laughs> We're gonna play these at once. Hope for a battery or something. No, that is really stupid of me. I don't know what, what went through my head aside from nothing. Priestess, okay. Oh. A dark market lies under your feet. Thanks. Empress, okay. Do I have any way of getting back to a full charge on this? This is, this is where breaking runs get like a little bit stupid is when you're trying to like figure out this shit. What do we got here? Emperor, okay. So I, this is actually the first time I've ever done this kind of break and run. So this is interesting to say the very least. Okay, clear some shit up, I guess. Um, sure, let's pick up some money. And use it to clear up some shit. Let's use the assist. Right, that steps on me. Okay. Credit card. I mean, whatever. Uh, any other shit I can get out of here? Oh, there. Okay, that's actually the first Empress. Hero font I want to hold on to. If I can figure out a way to get a battery. If I can't figure out how to get a battery, then I'm gonna be, feel real fucking dumb. I could search for a goat head somewhere. Justice. Justice. Do you give me a battery? Okay. You do not. This is my last fortune teller, though. We've seen damn near every trinket in the game. Sure, let's pop the levers. Like, there's gotta be a bloody penny in here, right? Not like I really want it. Judgment. Okay, I can do judgment. Do I pick up the dollar if he doesn't pay out, like, immediately? Can he pay out in a battery? Box! That should be a battery, right? It is not. Damn it. What are you? I don't want to pop you, actually, at all. Devil. Scary. Okay. The world. Two of clubs. I think I do have to pick up a dollar. Let's do it. Nope. 
Man, I fucked this up. This could have been great. I actually could literally reroll the entire angel room pool ad nauseum until I got everything I fucking cared about because I've created item pedestals and I have a Perthrow rune with blank card, scapular, infinite health, uh... <laughs> oh, this is, yeah, I feel real bad about this, actually. Isaac's Fork, right? That's a trinket. Again, like, Bloody Penny is pretty much the only thing I'm thinking of that's still left. Wheel of Fortune. I mean, we can just use it, because we have an additional one somewhere. <sighs> Damn. What are you? Chariots. Okay. I think I'll hold on to the chariot. Damn it. Alright. Can you guys pay out what I'm, what I'm wanting? Can pay out money. Money's cool. You can get the dollar multiple times in a run, too. So. Kind of maybe hoping that that happens. Let's just... Just swim around in the, the ending machines, slot machines. Just hang out in here. There's another dollar. Didn't actually want to pick that one up, and now I'm feeling real fucking dumb again. Just everything I'm doing is not a smart thing. Just don't do it. Like, by the way, this is me hitting spacebar. Nice, we're getting some pretty flies. Um, yeah, once you fuck up with the blank card, you really can't. Or with the sharp plug, you can't really recover at all. Alright, you're my last hope. I don't actually think you can pay out in a battery. If you pay out in an item pedestal, I think I'll use the Perthrow rune. Just use it, so even though I won't have it for the chest if I do that. I don't believe Crystal Ball can pay out. Well, Crystal, actually, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm, I'm doing some thinking in my head. My head thing is working. So, Crystal Ball can pay out in tarot cards, which can lead me to getting more slot machines. The world, okay. Obviously, if it doesn't pay out in tarot cards, then I'm just printing health, which I'm also okay with. Slow and steady wins the race. That's fool card. You're bad. Joker. Okay. Alright. Now. Now. Let's not fuck this up. Alright. We know what we have to do. We understand it. We see the finish line, and we're getting there. All right, we're getting there. So now, we can go to three more rooms. God, there really are just trinkets fucking everywhere. So now we go to three more rooms. Let's go to our secret room, I guess. Um, get the Joker card charged up. I could pay you keys or blow you up. I'm not sure which one, which one I want to do yet. So this will get us back to our angel room, which is nice. Hanged man, you're useless. So, our uh, stupidity of earlier is now made up for, almost in full. <gasps> okay, uh, because we got lucky. I mean, in fairness, I could have done that literally forever, so it was bound to happen eventually, you know. Okay, so now, what are you? Bad trip. Don't give a shit. So now we're gonna pop the Joker card. It'll bring us to the Angel Room. Right? And then I will use the Sharp Plug. So now we're back in business. So now we have a... Um... Which card do I want? Not Chariot. Okay. So we want... There's a Perthra room there. Wheel of Fortune. There we go. Gotta just wade through the bullshit. Alright. So, Wheel of Fortune. Good. 
Okay, that could actually be incredible. It's a Burkano. Burkano ain't bad. Let's just make a shit ton of spiders real fast. I mean, we got we got time to spare. We ain't rushing. Let's just get a fucking. Let's make the screen even more gunked up with random shit that's flashing. So these. All right, I'm gonna just like stroll through the chest. Like, hardcore? I'm gonna stroll through the everything hardcore with this shit. Um, we're getting ridiculous first, alright? I think my favorite thing about this is that it's almost like a puzzle. Um, okay, so we got Hermit. Wheel of Fortune this is what we want, I think. Well, ta yeah, no, 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 okay. So let's keep blowing up vending machines to get more dollars. Do you think a vending machine pays out with a dollar within 99 cents? And if it pays out with a dollar in 50 cents, then we're in business, right? Then we're profiting. And once you turn a profit, you're in a good spot. Luck, the luck upgrades that we got earlier in the run are helping out a great deal. You know what? I don't. Even, I don't even know what monkey paw does. I don't give a shit. Don't really want you. Kind of want you though. And by want you, I mean blow, blow the fuck up, please. Uh, let's just blow that up as well. Let's start blowing shit up to push it. You know, into this corner so we don't have to deal with it, even though there's a you know, Perthrow rune in there that we want. You know what? No, I really actually don't want to deal with um, fortune tellers. Just want these. Yeah, there we go. Get two going at once. So we have a full suite of orbitals. We have theoretical infinite flies and spiders. We're printing money. And we should be able to cycle through the entire angel room item pool. I just want a third, by the way. I I know I can do it with just two, but I want a third pedestal. Like that's basically what I want. Actually, I should actually Now that I think about it more, I should fuck with uh some fortune telling given the opportunity uh, because the easiest way for me to currently get to another item pedestal should be a, um, a blood bank and I don't have a card to create one at the moment and a fortune teller could get that to us but eh, alright let's do it all my fortunes. We should pay out a broken remote. Yeah, I don't want that. I don't want pinky eye. What are you? You are the tower. Okay. That was, yeah, Blue Baby's only friend. What are you? Uh, oh, you shouldn't be using the Empress card. I know. But I don't want to fucking clog up the ground. At this point, it's like, I'm not min-maxing, right? I'm just trying to get shit off of the... Alright, using that strength card was actually a bad thing, though. Should I just use the tower? What's the worst thing that can happen? I'll take fucking damage. Mm, that's the worst thing that can happen. And gets all fucky and stupid. Um, okay. <clears throat> Do I just go for it now? Like, okay, I think so. I think, I think we're getting to a point where it's just fucking ridiculous, right? Like, we just have too much shit everywhere. Everyone's get out of here. 
Like, it's it's becoming difficult to fucking navigate, so we're just gonna do it. Uh, Alright, per throw. Rosary Bible. Neither is good. Breath of Life Chalice. Don't really care. I'm mostly looking for Godhead. Lazarus Rags and the Soul. Habit and Dead Dove. Don't get me wrong, flying is great. Sacred Heart. Alright, let's pick up Sacred Heart. Um, I'm gonna keep going though, obviously, to try and get the Godhead. Which might take, like, infinity rerolls because, you know, dumb shit. Scapular? If you have Scapular plus... I'm, I'm just gonna take Red Heart damage, it's not like it matters, I got everything. If you have Scapular plus D6 plus Sharp Plug, um, you don't actually need the Wafer or anything to do... Uh, let's see, oh yeah, that's a good tier. So, when we get Godhead, this should be real goddamn ridiculous, and I'm looking forward to it. Okay, so we've gone through, like, the whole pool. Soon we're gonna start getting breakfast. Um, got lard. Lard is in the angel room pool? That seems wrong. I could be I I think I am the wrong one, but that doesn't make it less confusing. Missing those in the pool? Alright, these seem... Something's, something's fishy here. Holy Mantle's good, but I really want the Godhead. I don't think that's in the Angel Room pool. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Am I going through the Item Room pool too? That's an Item Room item. No doubt about it. <laughs> I mean, my, okay. So I'm like so tempted to pick a Magic Mushroom right now. Because I don't know if we're still in the angel room pool. We must be, right? But, like, I'm hesitant, man. You know what? Let's keep going. We're definitely... <laughs> I didn't expect this to happen. I thought that I would just see breakfast. I thought that that's what's happened in the past. When you run, run out of the pool of a certain room... There we go. We got Godhead. All right. This is, this is what I wanted. We did it. Oh my god, yes. Uh, okay, so what do we want moving down to the chest? We want Cancer. We want Perthrow. We want our HP to be basically capped, which we're at. We want to use this, so let's let's recap. Um, I guess I should actually bring Wheel of Fortune, huh? Wheel of Fortune then makes a lot more sense for the chest. That's just straight up fucking... Yeah. Let's go Wheel of Fortune, then. Alright. Now, we are finally ready to move on. Now that we have, you know, Sacred Heart, Godhead, Polyphemus, um, everything that we could ever desire, and a blowjob, like, we're set, right? Like, we can, we can move on from the womb one after 20 minutes on this floor. <laughs> Let's see what's here. I'm not re-rolling things, though. Fate! You know, I mean, why not, right? At this point, it's flight. I don't really want the HP upgrade, though. I'll be real with you. That seems not great to me. Um, I am liking the Godhead, though. It feels good. What do we got here? Okay, I mean, like, let's just, you know... Like, let's make a room so if we ever actually need hearts, we have it. Do two more times for now, and then we'll just obviously leave the Hierophant here as well. So, Godhead is a good item, in case you were wondering. Uh, it creates a damaging aura around your tears, which is cool. What are you? Alright. Um, I should have sharp plugged again, actually. But it's not like it's gonna matter. I'm just clearing rooms at this point. I probably shouldn't be touching pills. Like, we, if we go to the I am error room, then I'm gonna fucking cry. So, let's not touch pills anymore, if we don't know them. 
I don't even know if we have, like, worthwhile pills anyway. Nice, just more spirit hearts. Tinder rock. We already have small rock, like, I'm just blowing this up for fucking showing off that I can spot tinder rocks, I guess. go how fast will mom's heart die with this uh, spider on me probably pretty fast I don't know I've never fought mom's heart with polyphemus sacred heart and godhead um, well it killed Gertie jr. in one hit each so that seems reasonable let's just like make the guppy dream happen too like just for fucks I don't, I don't know I don't even know like I don't know what I'm saying anymore yeah like that's pretty good damage it's reasonable. Polycephalus isn't enjoying it at all. So, heart. Goodbye. Alright, cool. That went about as well as I expected. <clears throat> now I'm a little sad I got the Polaroid, because I wish that I was able to bring the Wheel of Fortune to the Dark Room, because I feel like Dark Room is just harder, like, explicitly. I'm not even going to touch it. Like, I pr I, I'm not even going to check if I know it, because I don't fucking. I don't want to fuck with it. Um, because I think the dark room obviously is harder than the chest, but Wheel of Fortune gives you items in each, so I think it would just be cooler if I just was like, <laughs> look, I'm the greatest in the dark room rather than the chest. We're just gonna go in here. Guppy? You are not Guppy. I actually can't believe that I fucked up so royally and was able to save it. It's so cool. I love I love breaking runs. These are the best. Again, I'm not just I'm not gonna touch pills. They're like they've been pretty not great. Don't reroll. Three. That doesn't reroll the run. I think that rerolls dropped pickups. Which could be cool. And it did. Joker. I mean, there should be items, right? Three soul hearts. Goodbye. I don't know what I was expecting to be in there, to be honest with you. I, I was reaching into the item room pool, so I feel like there wasn't much that would have been great. Now I'm sad I don't have Perthrow, but who knows. Compass, that's ideal, to be honest with you. Couldn't have asked for a better one myself. Is it because we've already gone through like every HP upgrade to life? Alright, let's. Hey, Isaac. Hey, bud. Goodbye. Yep, that's pretty reasonable. Reasonable damage. Uh, Alright, so now. <laughs> now we get to have some fun. If we weren't already having fun before. Sure. I mean, these are all passive, and it's not like I'm not going to take them. Okay, let's try and get a hero font card. My goal is a hero font card. What are you? Blue diamonds. Wait. I guess I could have saved it. Or just straight up, you know. Or Spirit Hearts is always nice as well. We got Shielded Tears, sure. So we're just going to keep playing Fortune Teller. I guess I should pick that one. Suicide King. Uh, questionable. Very questionable. I love it, but I don't have actually any way of not being actually dead. So we're not going to do that. It'd be a hilarious way to end this, though. I'll be, I'll be frank with you. That, I mean, I'm not frank, but... I 
I just want to ensure that we can go infinite on this. Um, Jesus, our tears look cool as hell. Yeah. Let's pop it, clear shit up. I'm trying to be careful, even though, like, picking up Cursed Skull, like, oh, oh just pick up Ace of Spades again. It's the fucking... I guess. Yeah, I guess works, actually. Yeah. So... Okay. So this is what we do with the gas. Let's... Okay. So we, we pop... I'm gonna get this shit out of the way. Speed this up. Shove that. Okay, that works. So now, every other sharp plug we will use to get. And that should create an infinite loop of being able. Why would I move over there? Just uh, exercising, I guess. So Degas gives you one spare heart, clears up the curse, and Sharpwood only takes half a heart, so... Easy. We can probably start blowing these up. At some point we can uh, leave the room to clear out some pedestals and make some room. Okay. Passives, all passives. I like the um, this one, strange attractive. That's what it's called. Okay, three dollar bill's good. Butter bean is a butter bean. The rest are passive. Okay, rotten baby is pretty good actually. Oh, I didn't realize. Oh, now I can't actually use spirit hearts. Blech. Okay. Well, now we just gotta dig into our uh, bag of tricks, I guess. That's fine. Yup. That's some some not great damage, but holy hell, we're strong. All right. Oh, right. I have to clear more rooms because I'm stupid. I always do this. This is like my biggest mistake, probably. run is just being stupid and thing. God, I wish I had an HP down. I don't hear that often. Okay. I mean, we can do this on any room. Let's do it on the big room. The big room makes a little more sense. So now let's dig into this guy for a lover's card. It's the duel. Goose, why don't you just finish the run? Because that's not the point, so I'm not going to do that. I priestess. I don't know why I'd, like, use it. Like, I, I understand my thought process, but it, it never ceases to fucking confuse me how big of an idiot I am. Why don't I just, like, fucking walk into the other room and drop it? Like a smart person would do Two hearts also works. I just, I'm looking for a uh, red hearts card. Alright, uh, let's pick up Lucky Toe because that will make this pay out more often. The world. It's making that sound again. Moon. Don't want to touch that shit. Man, we have seen every trinket in the game, right? I believe the crash has been fixed. I believe. I'm not actually 100%, so we might actually just, like, fucking suddenly break and everything will be ruined. Ooh. Right, we have placenta. We could just go AFK forever. Why? I feel like the game is intentionally not giving me the thing I need. 
I mean, I can just play these for red hearts with Lucky Toe, right? Honk. Ooh, okay. I like where this is going. I like where this is going quite a lot, actually. That's pretty much exactly what I asked for, so thank you. Okay, Mr. Mega, passive, sure. Ooh, alright! Now, this is what I'm talking about. Alrighty, so we're gonna ditch the lucky toe. We are going to pick up all the cash. Actually, not all the cash. We're gonna stick it properly there. I'm gonna pick up cancer, and then we are going to, uh, I guess, let's just get a couple more things on the ground. One more. Let's go one more thing on the ground. That'll do. So now, D20. Open the chat. Ooh, Libra. Okay. Dark bum? You're actually useless to me right now, unless I die with the Suicide King, which I could do. Let's do it. I mean, these are passive, so that's the downside. Sack of pennies. Playstation 2. Bottle of pills, though. Uh, none of these are what I want, actually, at all. There we go. There's another chest, at least. That's key. Unfortunately, Dark Bum is picking shit up. Which I don't want him to do, but that's okay. Why am I picking shit up? Am I stupid? I must be. Ooh, that's just a damage. I mean, obviously... WHAT AM I?! <laughs> Holy Jesus Christ. Up. Oh, I didn't even realize there's rubber cement here. Yeah, that's a good one. Sure, my touch is also good. Sad bombs. Yeah, that sounds fun. Money equals power. Sure. All right, now we're now we're getting down to the wire in terms of things that we got. So that was uh, okay. So that's telepathy. Alright, so I think at this point we're gonna take our blank. Pick up this heart. Actually, I didn't want it. That's okay. I want a dark bone to have it. Okay, so now we're gonna go back. We have the Ankh, which means that we can use Suicide King. Do we blank card it? I don't think it really matters. Maybe we can get more value out of blank card, right? It was a mistake! It was a mistake! It was a mistake! I shouldn't have shot it! I shouldn't have shot it! I was like, let's get some shit over here. Some coinage on this side of the room. Didn't quite think it through. Okay, so, one more. Alright, so now... Suicide King. Use it. Come back with the Ankh. We are now Blue Baby, which means that we have no Red Heart containers, which is ideal. Sure, let's pick up the key. What's the downside? Okay. So now we want to. It's just bombs. It's okay. Clear it up. Spirit Hearts are good. Okay. 
What in the fuck is that? What am I looking at? <laughs> this is the greatest run ever. All right, cool. We found Bloody Penny a bit late. That's okay. Let's not have that. Um, okay, let's get out of the room real fast. So we're gonna do this and print some hit points. Although, uh, Polaroid. Once I see breakfast, that's when we're ending it. That's that's when we're calling it quits. Is when I see breakfast. Until that point, going. Get out of there. Sure, I can see forever. Here's up. Yeah, I mean, why not? That's the downside. Got extra respect as well. Might as well see forever, forever. There's also a spirit heart hidden in there. Use the guys a couple times. Walk out, walk in. Just clear up my invincibility. Judgment is another way to get some pedestals. Not as easily as we were fortunate. What? Oh my! It's <laughs> I have become a singularity. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Jesus Christ! What am I? Right. So now we're gonna have some more fun. <clears throat> yeah, some chests, to sure. Oh, nice chocolate milk that I'm not gonna pick up because that sounds like spooky shit. Bub bombs, alright. Brother Bobby. Yeah, buddy. Oh, ooh, 2020. Yeah. Get in there. I am not touching Epicac. I know everybody wants me to touch the Epicac. You want me to grab the fucking. I'm not. I refuse. Sure, let's just make it even more fucking ridiculous as if you can't see what's going on with our tears enough. Let's do... Okay, we're, we're running out of dropped items in this room. There were flies. Sure. Are we Lord of the Flies yet? Um, okay, again... A little bit. Bird foot. Crystal ball. I mean, like, alright, hear me out. Pretty sure you're gone, uh, Mr. Crystal Ball. Pretty sure you ceased to exist because I already got you. That's okay, though. We now have a perfect way to in create infinity soul hearts. As if we didn't already in three different ways. I need breakfast, dude. All I need is breakfast. This is all I need. He's being a nice guy, paying out of it. Cricket's head, sure. Uh, big beautiful fly is also great. Little Chad is not actually useless because we have Dark Bomb as well. There is synergy there. 
Love these horns. I'm not re I'm not re-rolling with the D4 either. That ain't happening. This is horribly inefficient bomb usage, but I'm I gotta be getting close, right? Yeah, sure. Let's get more homing too. I'll go to three this time. There we go. That's like perfect spot for me. Uh, that might actually be a good mark. No, that's perfect. Nice. We got that. Another damage up. Yeah. Uh huh. We're definitely Lord of the Flies now. I'm not gonna touch monsters. Well, all right. We have high enough tier, right? I'm pretty sure if I, yeah, if I just touch it, it fucking launches out an entire fucking miasma of tears. I might be able to physically crash my game because my computer can't handle it. And that this is Isaac Rebirth, mind you. Okay, so we're getting to the point where there's too much shit on the screen. Um, and what that does is every time that I'm gonna create shit, stuff will come back to me. Uh, which is <clears throat> bizarre, <laughs> to say the very least. Why am I picking up the coins? I can reroll those into item pedestals because the D20 is still there. So this is a bit slower to get to breakfast than your average run, but it's also cooler? I don't give a shit. Store credit over there. There we go, we got some chests. Nice, crack this guy. What a great item. It's a joke. It's fun laughing. Optosis. How short range is the short range mega tears? Sounds interesting enough. That's a steel point. Chances. Sure. Just pop balls of steel. Um is there a chest? I thought I heard a chest. Oh I opened it, I think. Sure, I don't have bombs, like whatever. Bombs wig? Also great. Uh, homing bombs, yeah. Ices, yeah, okay. Nice bud. Or no, that's smart fun. That's even better. Monster manual! We could get the the, the Meat Boy Vantage Girl if we didn't already have it from a similar situation. I'm not looking at my HP. I could like very easily die at any given moment and be like, what the fuck at? I could also pick up soul hearts. We might have to call it early. I don't think we're gonna get uh, to breakfast at this rate. Yeah, it's looking, it's looking less and less likely by the second. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get up to the HP cap. We're gonna open Mega Stan's doors with the dad's key. And we got sitting on that pedestal right there. I could actually just use the bottle of pills a bunch because I have PhD. And then uh, we're gonna go kill. We're gonna hunt down Isaac, who we know we know where he is, and then we're gonna hunt down Mega Stan, and then that's gonna be the end of that run. And it'll be cool. If you watch through this whole thing, like, congrats to you. You fucking deserve it. Holy shit! I spent a long time just trying to get some breaking in. All right, you know what? We're not gonna get hit a single time. HP cap seems a little unnecessary. Open the door. Should I just grab the chocolate milk for fucking fun? Yeah. I mean, I already have monsters long. It's not like it's a. <laughs> All right. Okay. No, this is fine. Let's grab the tears, right? Because you know. Yup. That's about expected, to be honest with you.
What did I do? Where am I? Why is it so laggy? What's this music? What was that? Why are we in mega slowdown? What's happening there? What's going on? Send help! Oh, oh, oh! I can almost see! I believe! The frame rate! It's normal! Where am I? Help me! No! Okay, so note to self. Don't do this ever again. <laughs> so I know what's happening with the music now. I have chorus going. Okay, that's usable. That is very much usable. Look at all these hearts though. I mean, it's use- it. Alright, I said usable. I lied. This is like- <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm glad we have Taurus, uh, so our game doesn't fucking freeze. What the bo- why the- oh, cause the BBF, uh, with sad bombs, okay. Alright, <clears throat> this is a mistake, by the way. I didn't even shoot! Taurus, please! Alright, that's fine. Let's shoot for Mega Stan, though. Uh, oh, this is not a good decision. This is probably my worst decision I've ever made in my life. Let's be real here. Do we just grab Ip Ipecac to be an idiot? You know what? I think that's, that, you know, that's required at this point. I don't even know if my shit's dealing damage. It is clearly. Holy hell, dude! What is going on? So if I charge, if I continue to charge my shot, I'm gonna dodge shots for a bit. If he doesn't die to spiders, um, I'm just gonna dodge some shots. Because with chocolate milk, yeah, it should scale pretty much indefinitely. Holy shit, what a run! <laughs> One of the most bizarre breaking runs I've ever even imagined. I'm so happy I recorded that. Holy shit. Thanks everyone for watching. Hope that you enjoyed. Because um, I, I know I did. That was really fun. Uh, but yeah, thanks. Like I said, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it. Subscribe, like, or whatever. I don't fucking do the YouTube thing. I'm not a gigantic sellout. It's not entirely true, but. Also, this is su supremely loud for no reason. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Hopefully, it'll be as interesting. Probably not, though. Probably could not be it in any to any capacity at all. But thanks for watching.